hey, we're going to have some fun today. I built a wall out of Fox Blocks, uh, eight foot high and eight foot wide, and I put a couple of two by fours on either side just to hold it up so it's not going to fall on top of me as I play with it. And I'm going to try to show you how to find your attachment points, and then we're going to see how strong they are, okay? So the attachment points at your studs. And so now in an ICF, almost the whole industry is using a plastic, polypropylene type plastic. And this is a Fox Blocks tie. It's an inch and a half wide, 16 inches high and a quarter inch thick. So inside the wall, because it's a 16 inch high tie and the block is 16 inch high, they actually touch each other all the way up. So when I put a screw in, I'm never going to miss. So I'm doing horizontal siding. I don't have to worry about missing. Now, competition, almost all the competition, they have a gap in between. So now if you look at it, their, their ICF is an inch and three quarter shorter than us. That's this brand. And most brands are shorter and a lot of them are actually more than that. So they could be up to four inches of a gap there. Uh, some of them are one inch. This one's an inch and three quarter. So you get what you pay for. It may not look, this is an ICF wall, it's just white. But you know, for a couple dollars more, you're going to get one where you can put your siding on and it's actually going to work. Okay, so now let's see how this works. There's different types of um, stud finders you can use. This is a real high-end one. Really good stud finder, right? Well, watch this. I put it on the wall. I push the button. And nothing. Doesn't find it. Now watch this. I take a piece of wood. Put this onto the piece of wood. And it finds the piece of wood. Because it's nice and dense but it can't find plastic. This brand, not worth it. So now, let's try a different brand. This is a Stanley. This one goes up to an inch and a half. So it's a good stud finder. I don't mind this one. So now if I push it in, that's only for a half inch, and I come across, it sort of thinks about it, but it doesn't really find it. So now let's do it again, and I'll go to one inch. That's the center mark. Come across. Ah, it, it sort of thought about it, but then nothing. So now I'll do it again. I'll go to deep scan. So that's all the way now. I'm coming across. And it does find it. Let me move down a little bit. It sort of finds it. I'd hate to have sheetrock on the wall and try to use that. So that's not going to work. So let's try another one. This is a Zircon. I've had this one for a long, long time. And this one has deep scan as well. It's got stud scan and deep scan. I always put it on deep scan. And, and this one here, watch this. I start coming across. It's thinking. And there's the stud. It found it. Let's go to the next one. Eight inches on center for the studs. And it sort of thought about it, but no. There, it did find that one. Okay, keep coming across. You know, bottom line, they really don't work. Hey, so what do you think of that old video? I did that probably three years ago. And now I have to pull it out because I'm getting phone calls from people that want to hang things on their wall and they don't know how to find a stud on an ICF wall. Now all ICFs use a polypropylene stud and so a density stud finder should find it but you can see these ones that we used uh, they didn't work all that well. The, uh, the Stanley and the Zircon and the Franklin sensors or Pro sensor whatever that is they're all good. Stent they're all good. Like this Zircon actually does find it um, and it's probably the most accurate but when it comes to going through drywall and everything um, I did go a little bit further and I found one called a Wallabot. This one I got off offline. It hooks up to your phone. I couldn't get it to hook up to my Samsung S8, so I put it on my old Note 5. And um, it is smoking hot. Like it, this thing really takes a lot of juice to run. And so I'm going to put it in expert mode and we'll just see if I can find a stud here. Um, I've got it up to 70% sensitivity, and you can change that. And there it did find a stud, and that's what it looks like. It's a blob of red, and then you should be able to go down, and it disappears. It, it's still there, sort of. 
There, there's a wire going through the wall. But it's still, I, I actually find this thing is more of a gimmick. I haven't been able to get it to work all that well. It's, it seems like it should be awesome. And maybe I just got a dud. I don't know. If you guys have one of these Wallabots and it works for you, uh, let me know about it. I'd love to know. I'm just going to try to get my phone to shut off so that it doesn't melt down. And put it off to the side. That's my Wallabot experience. Uh, a lot of money. Um, and that one won't even be good for the big garage sale when you die because by that time it's an electronic thing that doesn't work anymore. Whereas these things, if you invest in these, then your wife will be able to make a little bit of money because they'll still work the same at that big garage sale, right? So this is a different one, a Metella scanner. This is an expensive one, more than any of these. Um, and it doesn't find wood or it doesn't find a stud. What it does is it finds screws. So what you do, you got this blue pipe here that lights up. And it's also got lights on both sides. So you put that pipe up against the wall and you push the button and then there's a little green light that goes on that says that it's ready. And I come along, I'm looking for a screw. And there the lights go up, there's a screw right there. So, and now the blue turns on. You can see the blue light there. Now you turn this thing the other way and there's more lights on this side and you look for that screw. So there it is and you can see it goes up and down. It's not all that accurate. It's hard to get the center of the screw. You'll get around it so you'll get about a one inch um, space. But now I can make a mark. That's where the screw is. And if I come straight up from that you would think I'd be able to find another screw. Oh, there is. There is one right there. Now I would mark that and make a line and there I've got my stud. That will work with ICFs, okay? My favorite is this little toggle, which is a magnet. It's in a little bubble and you slide that along the wall until you find the screw. And watch this. Now we had just found one right around here with this other unit. So if I slide this along here, that toggle will go back and forth. Now I know there's a screw there. I find the center of that screw and I can let go. And that will only happen in the dead center of the screw. So that, the magnet is hanging onto the screw. So now we'll make a little mark. That is the center of that stud, I would think. As long as the screw is in the center of the stud, right? So now I should be able to go straight up from there, going back and forth. And there's another screw right there. And if I go up, there's another screw right there. There it is. So, I'll make another mark. That's the center of this stud. And now what I'm using is just painter tape so I don't damage the paint on the wall. Don't need that anymore. So now I should be able to say that that is the stud. Now I should be able to put a screw or a nail anywhere in that line and I'm good. So I could just mark it and then pull the tape off and hang whatever I want to hang. If it's a picture, if it's cabinets, whatever it is, I know that that's where the stud is, right? So now I could actually test that. Let's take this Franklin one. I click the button and it comes along and there it is. That's the stud. You can see it always lights up three lights on this one. Now this is a wood wall. This is not an ICF wall, but it works exactly the same on an ICF wall for using this or using this. So that's the easiest way for you to find a stud on an ICF wall. If you guys have a better idea or if you have found one of these that works, please let me know because I've tried many of them. I've never found one that was really accurate, really trustworthy. Um, I hate to put a screw in when I miss. I want to hit when I put a screw in. And with this method, I know that I will. So let me know in the notes below if you've got a better idea or if you can get this thing to not melt your phone, it's still smoking hot, let me know. And uh, on the next video, I'm hoping to show you the strength of the studs in an ICF wall or at least a Fox Fox wall. I know what the strength is and I'm going to show you with some screws. So hopefully that'll come out in the next week or two. All the best.